Okay, I know that nobody wants excuses for drop balls, or I guess excuses in general, but your glove is one thing that needs to be addressed, and it's incredibly important to have the right one on. Now we want a sturdy, strong, trustworthy glove. Make sure it's not too floppy so you can't control it, and make sure you have enough padding. When choosing a glove, make sure you really love it. Don't just buy a random catcher's mitt, okay? This is your livelihood. This is what's going to allow you to play the game for a long time. So find one you can seamlessly catch every single pitch with without being jammed, hurting your thumb, or having to think about your pocket. Okay, so now let's talk about forming that glove and creating that pocket. This is something I see a lot of catchers at all ages do pretty poorly. Now we want a nice deep pocket. And we want that ball to stick in there and not move around once it hits our gloves. This allows us to always know where the ball is, which will come in handy when we're throwing out guys and transferring. Now I found this incredible video, which I'll link below, of Wilson's master glove maker, Asso. He talks about forming gloves, and his method changed my career and life. I never knew about the different ways to squeeze your hand, form pockets, and what fingers go where. So watch the video below, and you'll learn a lot about forming gloves and what to do on contact with the ball. Also, when we're making our pocket, make sure you can get it to a point where the ball is completely consumed. Get it to the point where once it's closed, you can see little to no white. We want to avoid that funnel and avoid being jammed and injuring any fingers or thumbs. We never want to leave the game because of equipment or a poorly shaped glove. So a good way to do that is every time we catch anything, any ball, we catch it in the same spot every time. Okay, so wherever you want your pocket, you want that deep pocket, have it stick there, and now we never have to worry about that ball leaving our glove or dropping pitches or have it funneling off. Okay, so catch every pitch in the same spot, have a strong, sturdy glove, a trustworthy glove, and really focus on that pocket and having it stick in there so we never have to think about anything but just catching the ball and trusting our glove and hands.